Hello guys, Matt Spiner here. Today I thought I, I'm judging by how Halloween is getting very, very close. Like in three days or, yeah, about three days or two days more. I thought, let's do, let me make a bunch of quick videos because I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave soon for back to like um, Colorado soon. And I'm going to... And I'm gonna, you know, I have to make these facts videos, like, really quickly. And so hey, for this ahead. one, that was one of my workers, um, playing, playing player unknown battlegrounds. That was one of their friends, friends, um, on the, on, just doing that. Yeah, anyway, you get what I'm trying to say. And for, uh, this one, I thought I would explain to you what... What, um, you know, an alien is. An alien in its simplest form, form is a creature, is a creature that does not originate from Earth. Like, aliens could be anywhere. Like, from billions of stars away, or hell, even in our nearest, um, planets. Aliens are quite a controversial subject. Simply because people, there are people out there who do believe in them, like me, and some who don't. And... And there's a lot of famous ones, like the Roswell incident. But you already know about the Roswell incident. So I, I'm not going to explain to you. But in its simplest form, and, and also Area 51, I'm not going to explain to you anyway. Area 51 is also responsible for hiding out all the um, alien, alien like spacecraft and spacecraft and space alien stuff, alien UFOs and stuff. And UFOs are like the a are 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 the thing that aliens used to go about in space. So yeah, that was a quick little bibliography, a, a quick little explanation on what aliens truly are. And now we're going to go on on some of the six theories, the six six theories, top six theories about. Alien life. So, you know, I'll be right back. Okay, I found a different website. It's by Intelligenza, and this is their reasons. This actually came out on March twentieth of um this year. Reason to believe. Leave. How seriously should you take those recent U reports of UFOs? Ask the Pentagon or read this primer for the. Senti Curious by Day um, and those and let me show you the people that were credited for it in about a second. So there are the people credited for for making this um for this um article. You probably can't see them. Let's go a bit closer. There, this is close as I'm gonna get. Anyway, let's go back. Sorry about that. Um, you probably didn't see it when I asked that stupid question. Um, anyway, in the good old days, the arrival of UFOs on the front page of America's paper, paper of record, it might might see seem might have might have seemed like a loose thread, red tear right through the fabric of reality. Blah 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 blah. Uh, blah 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 blah. Okay, I'll try and find a different website. God, this video is a bit of a fail, don't you think? Alright, you know what, I'm just going to use the wiki to explain, line, um, um, in general. Aliens are- Alien life, such as microorganisms, have been hypnotized to exist in the solar system and throughout the universe. This hypothesis re really relies on the vast size and consistent physical laws of the observ observable universe. According to this argument made by scientists such as Car Carl, Carl Sagan... Carl Sagan and Stephen Hawking, King. as well as as well as regarded thinkers such as Winston Churchill. Churchill, well, it would be improbable for life not to exist somewhere other than Earth. This argument has has is um, embodied in the co Copernican. Uh, how do you say that? C O P E R N I N I C A N principle. I don't know how to say that. Which states that Earth doesn't does not 
occupy a unique position in the universe and the mediocrity principle. Critty principle, which states that there is nothing special about life on Earth. The chemistry of life that may have shortly begun after the Big Bang, 13.8 billion years ago, uh, during a habitable epoch when the universe was only 10, million, 10 to 17 million years old. Life may have emerged independently at many in many places throughout the universe. Alternatively, in life have, have been full on frequently then spread by me meteorites, it's for example, it, between habitable planets and parts that's called panspermia. In in any case, is is complex complex or organ organic I mean, molecules have been have been formed in the pro pro protoplanetary a disk of, du of dust dra grains surrounding the sun um, before the formation of Earth. According to these studies, this occur may, this process may have occur, uh, uh, may occur outside Earth on several planets and moons in the solar system, and on many planets of the other stars. Since the 1950s, scientists have pr 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 proposed that habitable zones around stars are most likely to play are most likely places to find life. Numerous discoveries in z in such zones like, since 2007 have generated new numerical estimates of Earth-like planets in terms of composition of many billions. As of 2013, only a few pl planets have been discovered in these zones. Nonetheless, as on the 4th of, of November 2013, an astronomers reported based on Kepler Space Mission da da data or data uh, that there could be as many as 40 billion Earth-sized planet orbiting in the habitable zo zones of sun, sun, sun-like stars and red Head dwarfs in the Milky Way, 11 billion of which, which may be orbiting on sun-like stars, as the nearest such planet may be 12 light years away. Hey, according to scientists, astrobiologists have considered have also considered a, a follow a follow the energy view of potential habitats. So yeah, that's what um, in that's what the general in extraterrestrial terrestrial. Sorry if you couldn't understand me, because I. Because I, you know, I spoke too fast there. But in general, my question of the day is, is uh, I've also got two questions. Do you believe in ghosts? And do you believe that alien life could exist? Because I believe in both of those things. And, uh... And, um, let's see what's on the next. Next. The mermaid. So that should be interesting. And then next we've got werewolf, dragon... Loch Ness Monster and Bigfoot. So yeah. There we go, guys. Hope you learned something new about ghosts. I'm sorry if this wasn't a very fact-related video. I couldn't find any good websites that, you know, had actual facts there. Um, and also, aliens have been depicted as, like, as, like, oh, God, that is, uh, oh, God, that's, there, much better. Mm. Has been depicted did as like you know have been depicted as like mm, you know um has have been depicted as like green or gray creatures with like a bunch of tentacles and just like like that does seem sort of unlikely but there is a possibility that it could exist after all we know so much about our oceans our planet's ocean then we do much more about space. So there could be a lot of stuff in space. So anyway, goodbye. Goodbye now. Matt Spiner.